In 2017, me and Adam discovered International Friendship Day and we made a really cute video to celebrate it, which was, I think, some of our proudest work. It was the peak of my craft career. I think so. It was the peak of our YouTube career, <laughs> <laughs> like five years after the decline. Yeah. Hey Google, what date is International Friendship Day? Tuesday the 30th of July 2019. This year, International Friendship Day is on Tuesday the 30th of July 2019. So, to celebrate, we're going to do the exact same thing again. Because mm -hmm. we are original. We're going to recreate our friends' Facebook profile pictures in varying quality. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> with uh, a little bit of craft and a little bit of hope and a little bit of suspending your disbelief. Yeah. <laughs> Last time I did make the faces of a crowd with paper plates. Yeah, no, that was really good. I'm very impressed with us because we decided to do this two days ago. It didn't take us two years to do this. It this did time. not take us two years to do this. We are on a roll. Right? We've driven to Banath Pier. Oh, we didn't get the nose ring. Oh. Idiots. Oh, do you know what, though? <laughs> I can probably take this out. Harvey is beautiful. I don't mean to just talk about how pretty and hot our friends <laughs> yeah. are. They, they have other good features, too. So for this one, gather round, Cardiff. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Does this look nice? Yeah. Harvey is precious. He's gentle. And he's like, once you're in a good conversation with him, he gets passionate yeah. about conversation. He's a really good listener. I like him a lot. <laughs> This one time he came up to me and he gave me a hug and he said, you're a good manager. And I nearly cried. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want is just validation. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's Harvey. <laughs> He's so lovely. He's really good at washing his clothes. One time I was like, I really like your jumper. And I was like, oh, is it new? He's like, no, it's not actually. But in the past year or so, I just started really like looking after my clothes and making sure I wash them the way they're supposed to be washed so they don't get all bubbly and stuff. And I was like, that is the most admirable trait I have in any friend. I wish I had the patience to I know, to imagine deal with reading that. the label. What a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay is so cute. Like, it's nice to have she's a friend that- She's squidgy. She's so squidgy. It's nice to have a friend that can talk as small as we can. <laughs> it's raining. We, we're looking for a big tree. There must be what surely. I know. That one's quite a fat tree. Chunky boy. <laughs> Chunky boy. That one might be the best one, actually. Do you think we can get fatter? I think we might. Okay. I'm in nature. Fucking tissue. You're still eating a fucking tissue though, you idiot. <laughs> It'll have to do. I like that me and Lindsay have managed to maintain a friendship post uh, sarcastic. <laughs> we can be real human beings in the world. I'm I'm proud of her. She's pretty. I don't have like a puffer, a blue puffer jacket, but she'll do what she's given. <laughs> I like how much um, her and Johnny will just message me and Jake out of the blue with something egg related. Yeah, <laughs> I also don't have a denim skirt. <laughs> <but> <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad the park isn't busy today. Okay, so she's got a camera around her neck, she's got her glasses on, she's got a jacket, dead of skirt. Right leg right up. Right leg up, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Well <laughs> over, leg further down. I like her dry sense of humour, and I like that she's always up for um, explaining something about linguistics. <laughs> That's my favourite thing ever, is someone who can explain linguistics yeah. to me. <laughs> I think we've got it. Go outside and climb the, the biggest, biggest tree dainty. that you can find. I'm dainty. You're dainty. <laughs> I'll do. Tia's in Troy. How do you feel about the necklace? Is that right? Yeah. Soph is one of the kindest people. When Soph is in a room, the room becomes kinder. She's really genuine mm. and she's completely herself. I once compared her to Lorraine Bowen from Britain's Contest. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of like a car park industrial estate. This is sort of kind of <laughs> right. We don't have a dinosaur on hand, but we've got this little dragon finger <laughs> puppet, which will do. Yeah, I think that's kind of more. You need to be a little bit smaller, so. <laughs> I can never keep track of her life. Oh, so do you want to hang out with me? Oh, sorry, I'm going to this murder mystery thing. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, you are. sure. Of course. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, hey, Soph, can you cover this shift? I know you probably have some bizarre event going on. And she's like, oh, actually, I, I hate to be a stereotype, but I do. I'm going to a unicorn gin festival. <laughs> Which was genuinely <laughs> something she said to me. <laughs> and so it's grey and blue, generally, that we're going for. Let's see what we can do with it. I guess from like a little bit lower than the top. So if we fill that one. <sighs> hmm. Something lighter. Joe is really genuinely very funny and in like a really humble, in a really Welsh way, actually. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll get in costume. I actually have pretty much his exact jumper. He's so Welsh. Yeah. He's so Welsh without being Valley's Welsh. 
He's so pure. I he is so pure. Yeah. Call. Um. I love that I have someone in my life who is a keen knitter. Yes. <laughs> and one day I will commission him to make something for me. Yeah, absolutely. He completely undersells himself. I don't know why he doesn't make all the sweet dollar with with all of it. Okay. Um, am I the right height, or do I need to be up? Um, you need to be up more, like up at the ducky, which oh, I yeah. will cover. Should be like here. Yeah, and then I'm going to put the ducky in. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, and three, two, one. I really like the washing machine added to this. Yeah. It makes it feel homely. That is my hero at work. If I'm like, is there any chance you could go in early? She's like, I'm already there! Yeah, that shift where she just turned up. Yeah. She needed someone who's like, I'm ready, yeah, I, I could be there. I wish she could see herself how we all see her. Right? I wish she knew how much we liked her. Like, <laughs> I wish she knew how much everyone likes her. I can tell she's got her own stuff going on, but she's like, just really compassionate, I think. Oh, she's the best. I'm going to put my fringe on the other side, because that'll also cover the bit of tape that keeps my glasses together. Perfect. I look exactly like Nia. So, okay, yeah, so you need to, I'm sort of just peering around the side. Here is the one of the most understanding people we've ever met. And they're both so pretty. What a power couple. Oh my are. god. <laughs> I go towards the camera as well, see, like, you're taking the picture. Yeah, so like... And then I go... <laughs> okay, I, mean, I really like the long hum of the washing machine. Yeah. Shane was literally like, oh guys, do you want me to not put the washing machine on if you're filming? I was like, no! Fine, we won't be in the kitchen, and we're in the kitchen. <laughs> oh. They're smaller than I thought. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah. <laughs> Look at our little face. <laughs> yeah. I don't really know how we met. From my memory, she just turns up at the gatherings in like 2012. Yeah, I don't remember either. Would only be at the night time. She'd just be this constant, mysterious Scottish lady who'd yeah. turn up af like after the gathering really happened. And then we found out we were both like S Club. And then we were best friends. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, S Club Sundays! Yeah, that's how we bonded. We watched, we watched the S Club series every weekend. I love these little Kerrang logos. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect! <laughs> Emma was one of those people who was like one of the earlier queer women who was in my life. Even though she hadn't settled on a label then. You just felt we it. We knew. Her flat was always a safe sanctuary for us all. And yeah. she was always really welcoming. Because I know we spent a lot of time in there and I'm sure we outstayed our work yeah. several times. We'd all live with our parents at that point. Yeah. So she was the only like, cool person with a flat yeah, by exactly. herself. We could go away. And I would sit in my little spot where I was a visiting sparrow. <laughs> Me and Emma go on just stupid little trips together. We went to Barcelona yeah. on a whim. No one believed we were going. Yeah, that was really funny. And we're like, oh, they're just, they're just committing to a bit, right? And then suddenly we we're in Barcelona. Yeah. <laughs> it's not at all the same as the picture, but it'll do. But we don't have caps. Shaney, have you got two black caps? There you go. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah? So then it's like the edge is kind of there. Can I get Emma fringe? We it's, look great it's an artistic well. rendition. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> satisfied? I'm satisfied. I feel like this was kind of cheating because we're like, oh, let's reenact this, but we're using all the clothes that she is <laughs> actually wearing. Are you going to go away while we say nice things about you? Um, yeah. Can you wait till my rice is done? Yeah. <laughs> Do I need to put makeup on? Shaney is the prettiest boy. Correct. The best boy. Correct. Oh my god, that works <laughs> so well. Why she just wearing tissue paper? Maybe. <laughs> Structural integrity of my dress is compromised. I'll just get my makeup on then. Can you let me go? <laughs> I don't do makeup. This is going to be a challenge. It's like you do makeup too, so are you? I know technically I should use a tool. Oh, that's a lot. It's alright, it's far away. I feel like I'm insulting Vicky now. <laughs> <laughs> right. so cute. Why not cute? <laughs> Uh, me and Shaney have real bromance at the moment where we talk about the women in the house. Air high five across the room. I like going places with Shaney because when we went to Bologna, he went out before the rest of us and he came back with like the entire history of Bologna in his head. He's so excited and he, about he it. And he pretty much took us on a tour himself. <laughs> He's really hard working and I knew when we started him at where we work as well that he would just be one of the best ones you can just rely on. He's organised, he's on the ball, he's funny and I love him. I like having a gay friend who didn't meet by a grinder. Yeah, that's it's nice. That we can just chat and there's not that underlying thing like, we're gonna bang, right? Mm -hmm. But you're gonna bang, right? Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Vicky, we should say some of this, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky is also the best. Just put it all up. Okay. Just put it all yeah. up. There you go. 
Perfect. Okay, I got this super crop top. Yeah, that's all <laughs> yeah. I have. Not quite the same shade of blue, but it'll do, I think. So I'm behind you. You're on this side, I'm on that side. We don't have the background. The closest we can get is that kind of vent thing yeah. in between them. Yeah. I said to Kat once, I said, Aaron is quite possibly the most beautiful man I've ever seen in my life. And she was like, I think you need to travel more. <laughs> He's so full of wisdom. He is so full of wisdom. <laughs> That's the thing I really like about having a normal job. You meet so many people completely different from you. Aaron is an archer. That's so fucking cool. Who fishes and cooks. He's such a good cook. He's just really good with his hands. Like, we call him nature boy. <laughs> the other day we were all saying in work, who would you pick if you had to pick one teammate to survive the Hunger Games? Obviously Aaron. He can survive easily. He can live off the land. He lives on like a or little organic farm. He's so, got duckies. Oh, he's got duckies. <laughs> one time he was late for work because he had to put the duckies to bed. And for the record, I was going to choose Kim to be on my Hunger Games team. He's literally an archer, so he's Katniss Everdeen. <laughs> the current issue is that it's much brighter than yeah. the one in the background. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. So you have like a grey felt. Yeah, should we just colour it in? Colour it in. And then you, and then you blend it. <laughs> I also love Lawrence as well. Aaron and Lawrence have been some of the best recent additions to our life. It's nice to meet some queer people who are completely uninvolved in all queer culture. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, oh, these are some organic gays. What does Lawrence do again? Do you play dodgeball? He's long. Yeah. Dodgeball people are usually long, right? They're just two really unique people with like really interesting skills and hobbies. They're great. I mean, it's not as luminescent. Yeah, it still looks utterly ridiculous. <laughs> I think it may be our worst one. <laughs> like, turn it this way. Like, oh, like... Yeah, yeah, more like that. And I'm behind you like this. <laughs> it's really hard to not be like, this is just insulting. Lawrence. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was probably our worst one. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to drape it behind these ones and then down here. To... We had to pick one of Rose's profile pictures that was actually possible to reenact without having the people in them. A certain level of challenge. Yeah. Colouring these in yellow. The finer details. She's so soft. Soft? Physically. Oh, much. she is so soft. Yeah. <laughs> I still, even though it's been years, I still think Ro is really cool. And I like that. Like, just <laughs> effortlessly cool. She's aloof. <laughs> oh, mate, look at that. Are you Ro? I thought you were going to be Ro. Sure. Okay. <laughs> How about? She's so eloquent. Mm, like articulate. Yes. Like, yeah. I never have to explain myself to Ro because she just knows exactly what I think. Oh. Oh, is he here? Oh. <laughs> Can you lower the sunglasses? Like halfway down the great thingy? Yeah. Yeah. Same one I wore for Joe, because it's hers is a little more bluey, but I think this is this is the right kind of area, isn't it? It's nice having someone who's like got the sound of no bullshit attitude. And I don't mean like, oh my, I'm just straight up, because people like that are always horrible. Just like she's strong in her opinion, but not mean, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? I need to look more this way. It needs to hang more down. Yeah, but you need to be more up. <laughs> yeah. yeah? There we go. <laughs> You're row! <Yay! laughs> cool. Uh -huh. Cool. So that is everyone. Uh, I hope you liked our efforts. I know we did. <laughs> <laughs> and please do it. Please do it. Yeah. It's wholesome, it's cute, it's International Friendship Day. This is international. Last time we were like, we were half joking. We were like, <laughs> yeah. Do the same thing to your friends. We was making a little tag video and then we were also kind of hoping that people would do it and no one did. Which makes sense because none of our friends do YouTube videos anymore. And this is it's not an easy sit down task. It's not, <laughs> is it? Yeah, this is like a whole day of planning. We spent approximately £15 today and it's quite a big spend for a video. I now own that top and you now own a pride flag rubber duck. From John Lewis. From John Lewis. Do you know how fucking hard it was <laughs> to find a rubber duck in Cardiff? Much love to all the friends that we included in this video and all the friends we didn't. Celebrate International Friendship Day surrounded by the people you love and also do this video. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute! It's the best idea we've ever had! We're gonna try and get loads of people who don't make videos anymore, like us. Yeah. Who we can just get back into. Bring it all back 2019. Bring it all back 2019. And the people who've never made videos. Ali and Nia. Matt. Matt was always great at making videos and he doesn't do it anymore, but he does stream. So because he's still doing he camera do things. He could do this live. He could do this live! <laughs> Lindsay and Johnny. Lindsay and Johnny, right. Shut up! <laughs> we don't care. We know the situation and we don't care. Just fucking do it, right? Alice Evans. Alice. Rowan Chain. Oh, Ro! 
Bro is a YouTube friend. This is all coming across a lot more desperate than we are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm deaf, bro. <laughs> Have a nice day, guys. Enjoy International Friendship Day. And we'll see you in the next episode of Adam Kim. I didn't even say your name right now. <laughs>